deck for you guys. We're gonna show you the deck. It's insane. Now I'm not gonna lie. Like every other Lost Zone deck, it's gonna suffer to Fluttermane. So might as well just scoop whenever you're against Fluttermane. But if the meta is not Fluttermane heavy, I think this is the deck of the whole universe. If the second you realize the, the, the meta has no Fluttermane, jump and play this deck. Watch this, guys. This deck is insane, absolutely insane. So let's jump and talk about the Pokemon. Obviously, four Comfes. Of course, you want to run all the Comfes you can because Comfe is Comfe. Compe, company, I don't know. Uh, Comfe is, uh, is, I mean, yeah. Anyway, Sableye at one. I Honestly, you don't need Sableye at all, bro. Sableye is cool, he's fun, but you can play the game without him, so we just keep him at one. Uh, Manaphy, there are certain decks we suffer against, especially with the 70 cost on the double Comfes, and forcing, we us being forced to play Comfes and having two Comfes at all times, we actually need the Manaphy now. I don't think we need Jirachi as much, but we do need the Manaphy heavy. Fine, uh, next we have Roaring Moon, we're gonna run two, it's really not nice to prize him early game, it's also not nice to last zone him early game against a Colorist, so we're gonna run two, just in case we have uh, those bad options, we're just gonna feel better, more comfortable, again, the same thing with the Cram, the Cram is gonna be a, a card we use a lot, when you use the card a lot, you do not wanna prize it, especially when you are trying to consistently land those two, turn two KOs, you want to make sure the cram is not prized and still have access to it. Even if it is prized, we do have the heavy ball, but still we want to keep it as flushed as possible. So we run two. Also reduces the load on the super rods. Super rods can now focus on putting back energies instead of putting back Pokemon. Uh, because we're not really worried about losing the Pokemon, we still have one more in the deck. That's what the Roaring Moon. So don't feel bad about running two of these cards because you're using them a lot. You're gonna you're gonna feel good because Super Rod is compensated. Compensate now. Super Rod can actually pick up energies instead of Pokemon. Next, we're running uh, Charizard. Obviously, you know he's just our backup. He's really strong. We're not gonna run Greninja. We're gonna run Charizard. We like having that additional help. Also allows us to get to game states where there's only one prize uh, Pokemon on the board. The opponent has to deal with those Pokemon and has to fight them. And he doesn't gain as much value as possible. Whereas we're fucking hitting for 250 damage. It's insane. We get as much value as possible from these one prizers. So we're going to lock in those positions. And then next, Iron Bundle. This is our only counter for Fluttermane. Don't, don't, uh, don't judge me. If the guy's running two Fluttermanes, you basically lost game. Uh, unless he's like playing the, the, his... Uh, like, unless he's actually uh, attacking... You literally have no way to play the game. And if they like Iono you twice into a really bad hand or something, even when they do start attacking you, you're pretty much stuck. Bl Bl Iron Bl Bundle is consistent. You can actually get, get rid of Fl Fluttermane with a Colorist and two Comfits. You can get to four and start attacking. And then Fluttermane kind of loses his power. But still, guys, we are suffering. And Fluttermane is our biggest counter right now. It's Fluttermanes and Ionos. It's Fluttermanes and Ionos. It's Fluttermane and Iono, that's your biggest enemies, Fluttermanes and Ionos. Moving on guys, trainers, let's talk about the trainers. So once you figure out basically how you to deal with Fluttermanes and Ionos, you got an amazing deck. This deck is the winner of the world. Winner of any world's champion. I bet you this deck wins champions. Okay, let's move on. Uh, four switch, four switch card. Guys, I ran three switches with the two rescue boards. It felt so bad. There's so many decks that run so much lost vacuum and they sit there, they literally... I've seen a Charizard that literally just draws last vacuums waiting for me to rescue board. It just feels so bad to play a rescue board and then lose it immediately. Uh, so, whereas Switch, you actually still have the option, the still ability. So, the problem with rescue boards, we have to reduce the switches so we can add rescue boards. So, instead, we're just going to add one rescue board and keep the Switch counter at 8. We are freaking comfortable with that. And with the Prime Catcher, we get a little bit more switching. It just feels so much better, guys. I'm telling you, the game feels so much better. And drawing into Rescue Bird early is just going to allow you... that Now the game flows so much better. So you don't necessarily need the Rescue Bird now because you're still running your normal lineup that you were using before rotation. But if you draw into Rescue Bird early, you're gaining the same value. So that's what we're doing. Heavy Ball, amazing. Drawing your Pokemon. But at this point, really, we don't need them. We're just so... We're so consistent with, uh, with how many Pokemon we have, we, we're not worried about Heavy Ball. I guess we could draw into a Charizard, but usually by that time we've uh, drew him out of the prize. Uh, I'm going to talk about Iono here uh, and uh, Buddy Poffin. Obviously, Buddy Poffin is interesting. I'm testing him out. I think we can run three, but just to be nice, we're going to run four now. I think you're actually able to run three because what happens usually your early game is going to have one Comfy or one Cram. So when you have one comfort one cram, it's it's it feels nicer. Now one nest ball can actually be used for uh, interchangeably, whereas when you don't draw into the comfies and or you know what I mean. But so what I thought was we're never going to draw into comfies or crams, but we're actually drawing into comfies or crams a lot uh, because we're running four comfort two crams. 
So we're actually drawn into them a lot. So I think we're actually gonna reduce this by one because we usually start with the comfy, but this is possible. If you're worried, you just run for the four. That makes so much sense. Uh, Iono here at one. Uh, you pal pad it back if the if the if it's necessary. If not, you just pal pad one chorus, one boss. But this is a good option, guys. Sometimes uh, the the opponent just keeps throwing Ionos at you. It doesn't allow you to play the game. Whereas he's just comfortably every time he Ionos, he starts quick searching and getting everything he needs. This feels nice to play against him because sometimes he Ionos you into really bad hands. Whenever you draw this, you can actually Iono out of that hand and force him to get stuck in the Iono as well. So we, we, we fight fire with fire. This is the theme of the deck. Our biggest enemy is Iono, so why, why not use an Iono? <laughs> also, Pokestop is huge here. I noticed a lot of decks are using our Pokestop, so you want to not let them use it. You want to only play it down when you are going to use it and then try to get rid of it with the Roaring Moon. That's the strategy here, but it's insane. We're running about... Seven, uh, 27 to 20, uh, 29 items uh, regularly and so that's almost half of the deck so almost guaranteed every time you poke stop you're at least getting average of two uh, cards out of the poke stop and if you if you poke stop out an energy or a pokemon doesn't feel bad because you can just roar, uh, super rod it back but yeah guys uh, it's, it's really effective uh, TM Devo really nice against the Charizard matchup we're going to see a lot of Charizard so it's really strong uh, super rods Absolutely amazing. I think number three is the right number here. I don't think you need four. I really don't believe you need four. I think if you're running Greninja, you would need four. But because we're running Charizard, we're only going to run three. And because we ran so much uh, double Pokemon, we're only, we don't need four anymore. We just need three. And that's what you do. You basically get rid of one Super Rod for the actual Pokemon. That's consistent. That you want more consistency over. And that's what we opted for. We actually got rid of the Super Rod for one more Roaring Moon. And that's how we got there. And I think this is enough. I don't think we need any more super rods, guys. Now, Prime Catcher, of course, I think this is... The, no, no, 100%. I don't think this is... This is the the item you're going to use. You don't want to use anything else. I'm testing this, guys. I like Poke Gear. I like Poke Gear at 2. But I'm testing it at 1. It's consistent. It's coming to my hand at 1. So I think we're fine at 1. But, of course, if you're like a world champion and you're locking in that consistency, I think I would switch one Buddy Poffin for one Poke Gear. That way I got a cold risk every turn, no matter what, and I can guarantee turn two KOs every single game. Moving on, guys, boss at two. You need boss at two. Even the crime, prime catcher, you still boss at two. You also want a pal pad. There are certain decks that just lock you out of the game. And Fluttermane, this is your only answer sometimes. Uh, what you do is you boss in whatever you want to deal with, play the game a little bit, and then next, next turn you try to... Uh, honestly, I think against Fluttermane, we're actually going to run another counter catcher. That's probably what our idea is going to be, so that we can actually get rid of that Fluttermane for a turn where we can actually play the game and we can actually call us. I think that's how we're going to have to figure that out. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of one Buddy Poffin for one counter catcher, and I think that's the way we're going to deal with the Fluttermane. I think that's the right way here, guys. And I tell you why because we still run Artisans, so you're not going to feel bad losing the Buddy Poffins, guys. You're still running the Artisans. And you're still get, running the nest balls at four, so you're gonna get all the value. And you also now don't feel bad because Fluttermane is against you. Once they get ahead, once they get that KO, you can get rid of them uh, with the counter catcher and still play a Colrus and play out your Comfy, getting you to seven. Once you get to seven, now you really don't care because Roaring Moon is gonna carry you for the rest of the game. Uh, and I think that's how we're gonna have to play this game. All right, uh, yeah, that's now talking about this, talking through this with you guys. I think that's the right way. Now, Palpad here at one, as I said, you Palpad two Colrus, you Palpad one Colrus, one boss, you Palpad two boss, you Palpad one boss, one Iono, you Palpad one Iono, one Colrus. That's the combination here, guys. You're going to Palpad, uh, uh, typically, uh, Colrus is your biggest uh, priority, then boss, then Iono. Finally, guys, a couple more items. Obviously, the Mirage getting Dennis Ball and the four Colrus. And then the Artisan 1, I think, is enough. But we were running the Buddy Poffins at 4. Now that we're running Buddy Poffins at 3, what we're going to do is we're going to run one less Poke Stop and one more Artisan. And you're going to notice, guys, you don't want to Poke Stop a lot. You only want to Poke Stop once per game. And you don't want to give it to your opponent. You only want to use it yourself and gain value from it. So I think this is the right combination here. Sorry, I switched the deck literally mid-game. But guys, all we did was we added one counter catcher for the Fluttermane because once Fluttermane gets ahead, because what sometimes what Fluttermane will do against Iron Bundle is they'll just play another Fluttermane in the back row. So what you do is now you can counter catcher after he gets that first KO, you can counter catcher whatever you need. Get that Colrus out, get that Comfy out, get, get, get to seven or four ASAP. 
and usually you want to get to seven ASAP with that turn and then you can actually start playing the game again so that's our deck here finally guys we'll talk about this energy three fire two psychic and four dark i'm telling you this is what you do you try to draw into the dark then you can literally roaring moon, put the ro slam roaring moon down on the bench attach your ro uh, dark mirage get a dark and a fire and then what you would do is you would switch out a rescue board out into the roaring moon it's such a strong combo it uses three cards a roaring moon uh, mirage gate and one uh, switch and an attachment I guess four cards it's a really strong combo you don't need a lot of it and it's really consistent you can do it a lot so yeah guys uh, interested in your opinions what do you think about this deck leave it down below and let's check out some gameplay stay with me I'm gonna show you guys some games against really strong decks Charizard and also some strong control mill interested in your opinions leave them down below and let's move on right, guys we're going second let's see how this deck can do oh okay a bit tough start here, no way to draw in our crams. Let's see if we can get those comfes out. And then once we draw our first flower selecting, we can see what we want to do. Maybe we can Iono and get this deck out of the here because we really don't want to see this deck. Uh, I just want to figure out, do I want to keep Iron Bundle in here or not? We'll see. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not really sure how to play against control. We uh, will see how it feels here. Okay, there's the switch we were looking for. Okay, our perspective is looking a little bit better. Let's pull out two confes. Check our deck. Where's the crowns? We lost one crown. We lost uh, a mirage gate. No, no, it's in our hands. We lost a switch. We lost a super rod. We lost a body poffin. And we lost the dark energy. Okay. So energy, body poffin, super rod, switch, and cram are all in the prizes. We will see how we do here. After this first draw, we figure out what we want to do, okay? Okay, we're gonna Iono. First I'll pull out Cram. Actually, I'm not gonna pull out Cram until I can start shooting boys out. So let's just throw this back in. I'm actually worried about this small one. Okay, there's the Pokey Gear. I'm giving up on the Pokey Gear for now. Let's keep this comfy in a safe place. No more retreating, right? I think we stop here. He's not going to be, be, be able to do much, right? Another thing we could do is we could pull, try to pull out that cram. Let me see. Maybe we should have pulled out that cram. I think I could have KO'd them. I just didn't think I was going to draw into two switches. Be one more, two more. No, no. It's okay, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. We'll stop here. No chorus, we'll stop here. Pokey Gear next turn should find us the chorus. And we can play the game, it's fine. We have the switch to get this guy out. And we're still gonna be able to shoot him with the cram. We just need to draw an, a cram, uh, an artisan, or a nest ball. Damn, he threw the artisan. Damn, we needed that artisan. We needed him to play it. Oh, it's a mill deck. Okay. I 
think we start with the uh, flower selecting, then we go for the power gear. Pocket gear, sorry, not power gear. What the hell am I talking about? So we draw three cards first, then we go for pocky gear. Get the call risk if possible. Should be on top, right? After three cards. Oh, he's retreating. Interesting. There it is, he got it. He has to put energy here. Fucking KO this this turn, that's game. No, not really. I mean, it's an interesting deck that he's doing. Holy moly. There's the Calderas. I got crammed though. Okay, we'll get one more flower selecting activated, then we'll look for a colorist now that he lo we lost him. There's the Mirage Gate we needed. Okay, now we look for Colorus. No, first we look for, we pull out the Cram. Then we look for Colorus. Yes, okay, now we can play Colorus. Pull out these two. That's it, that's perfect. No, not really. I don't need two of these. I'd rather get the energy. Whatever. Alright, uh, now we retreat. Okay, now we got seven. I need a dark energy. Pull it up. The wrong energy. Can we super rod anything in? No. Okay, let's see if we can get this out. Okay, now we switch this out. We just frenzied gouging his ass. Get rid of that. That's fine with me. I know he's not gonna attack me anyways. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have played this guy, because now he can lock this dude in place. I'm worried now he locks the Charizard in place. Okay. He could counter catch her still. Two Sidas. He could still counter catch her. Somehow I'm stuck if he counter catchers. I cannot get out of there. There's a jet energy though. Four more cards out of the game. That's huge. Another chorus. I can't I can't pull anything out. There's the switch I was looking for. Thank god. He's not gonna ion on me because he doesn't want to fill my deck back up. The hell is he just gonna give me artisans every turn? That's fine with me. I 
He needs Sada. There. Oh no, that's not Sada. But it's still an ancient. He doesn't care. There it is. That's a Sada. Damn, this deck just. Ah uh, man, I don't like these mill and kind of trolley decks. I don't think we have time for this. We need an Iona and we haven't drawn it. And he, it's possible. I mean, we could pal pad, but I mean, with the with the way he's milling me, I think we we lose in three turns. We lose in three turns with the way he's milling me. I need an Iono him. There it is. This guy's stuck now. Not really, because I could just pull it out. Wow. There's the pal pad, I guess, gone. Let's discard that. There's a super rod. At least we can get some stuff back in. Right, Sable Eye? Oh, we can get one Sable Eye in. Rolling Moon has the potential to kill himself. Maybe I could do that. I actually don't think there's any more energy. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Damn, 9. There's one energy in here. So we need to draw a switch. It's our only way out of this. There's the switch we needed. Yeah, that's the energy. Yeah, I think that's game, right? No more energies in the deck. I should have never played this Radiant Charizard down. He was the death of me. Can I draw into a switch at least? Alright, I'm going to throw all of this into the trash can. So I can super rot it back in. The energy. Oh, switch card. Much better. Much better. Okay, all we need to do is for him to not get us to mill anything. As long as he doesn't get us to mill anything, we're happy. One, two. Damn, he gets the mill. Can use DTE. He's got two DTE, three DTEs in here. It's gonna take him some time. If we can pull this guy in, we don't have a prime catcher. There's the DTE actually. Counter catcher in, that's fine. Pal pad. All right, I think we draw that final card and then we throw everything back in. There's the Iono. Oh, he saved us.
three, four, five, six, seven. There's two in here. I can actually attack, right? Yeah, there's two in here. No, there's no two in here. That's true, that's not two in here. Fuck. All right, let's see, let me make sure. Let's see. Yes! Please tell me I have 10. It's eight. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I just have to, I just have to shoot twice here. That's it, that's my only way out. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay, it's, it's, coming, it's coming down to it. One more DTE gets me. I don't think he has DTEs actually, no more DTEs. But Sada with, a, with, a, with one more card actually gets there. I can't, I couldn't Mirage get, I know there's a Super Rod in the deck, it's at the bottom. Bro, the new bo boost capsules are gangster, not gonna lie. Damn, if he gets a double DTE here, uh, I don't think he gets DTE though, so he cannot attack, he can't use his attack. One TTE, two DTEs, three DTE, okay, there's four DTE, he can't actually use his attack, okay, this is amazing. Okay, we actually might win this game. Is he milling himself out of the game? All right, we need one more hit. Here. Uh, you know what we need? We need the Mirage Gate. Uh, even Mirage Gate is not enough here. I don't think he wins games still because I get one more draw. You know what he needs? He needs to switch this guy out. And then bring him back. That's the only way. But this guy's three retreat. He needs a switch. Let's see how many switches he has. It's possible he has one more switch in the deck. It's possible. He didn't use a single switch. So it's possible he has a switch here. Let's see. Tough, tough game, guys. Not gonna lie. This guy, the middle is insane. Yes! Gangster mode, bro. I'm telling you, this deck is gangster what deck this is, but as you can see, we started comfy and the double buff body puffin. Uh, now we are going to potentially rescue board into this comfy. And we're gonna pull out a cram as well. Oh, never mind. There's only one energy left. One psychic energy. I mean, it's in the prize, it will pull it. Then we don't have to nest ball for the cram anymore. And we're not gonna poke gear yet. We're gonna use it in case something happens. I think that's it, right? We just stop here. Next turn, comfy, call risk, attack. It's gonna be an, a tall order for him without poke stop. That I, uh, without me giving him poke stop, I don't think he can kill this comfy. And if he kills my cram, then it was a good idea for me to pull that super rod early. Can I? Because then I could just. I think I can super rod the cram, right? Because I already threw one. No, I didn't throw another cram. Then never mind. I have a second cram in there. I can just pull it out in this ball. All right. So he already wasted the switch. This is gonna be a little bit harder for him unless he has a risky board. This is gonna be a tall order for him to get a first turn attack because he needs to retreat and switch switch twice. He needs to retreat once and switch twice. Okay. There's the iron hands. I don't think he gets to attack this turn, which is huge. If I kill Comfy, he literally doesn't play the game. If he doesn't do anything here, he loses the game. <laughs> That's game. Because without Comfy, he literally, there's no way for him to activate Mirage Gate or Cram. He lost game. Start the chorus. Let's pick up the Ionos. See, this is what I'm talking about. We don't have any more Super Rods. Where, where, how am I going to figure out space for the Super Rod? Do I throw the Mirage Gate? No, hell no. I already have Super Rod in hand. I cannot justify that. So there goes my super rod. Literally, I'm running only one more super rod on the whole deck. We could start with a roaring moon, put it down on the ground. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, we might actually activate the roaring moon. Let's scare him a little bit. Let's show him the power of this deck. 
turn one what we could do we didn't rescue board yeah we did we just have to switch into the rescue board we'll be happy all right let's flower selecting no wait yeah we do we, we need Ooh. wait what even with chorus that wasn't enough all right i'm gonna this is what i'm doing I'm flower selecting once then i'm gonna pokey gear look for chorus Actually, I'm going to flower selecting twice, then Poké Gear look for Chorus. Alright, now we Poké Gear look for Chorus. Wait a minute, Iona's unplayable, that means you already wasted Chorus. Is this all one turn? I don't get it, why can't we not play Iono here? Did I already... Oh, maybe that was our first turn. Maybe, we, I don't know. Maybe I'm confused, but I'm, I'm surprised we can't actually. We, we don't even need Chorus, to be honest. We don't need to get to seven. Let's get that Chorus, though, anyways. And then we got... Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was going to scare him. I knew I was going to scare him. I knew the second he realized what's about to happen. That's why I put everything on the ground. He was about to leave the throw game because without comfy he got he's three mulligans. That's kind of crazy for Charizard EX. I mean, this was a really bad draw. So thankfully we did draw all this trash out. All right, let's see how this goes. We need to get to Colorus. I mean, it's a good chance we draw into Colorus very soon. So I think we just try to double, oh my god, we have all our dark energies here. We need to throw this dark energy back into the deck. We actually have a really strong matchup against this deck. Against us. I think we can one-shot him with the cram, but we need to draw a couple of things. If we want shot with Cram here, I think uh, we get a really ahead. I don't think we body pop in. I think we actually first go for the chorus. I think there's a chorus on top. No, no chorus. Start with this to retreat. We need to find a call rest somehow. If I can get two more switches in a row, maybe we don't even need the chorus. No more switching. Okay, we're stuck here. Okay, let's stop here. I think that was enough. I think uh, bossing in the Charizard was great. I think that's a really good idea there. Let's make sure, yeah, there's light compensation. I felt it, guys. I think that was a smart idea, but we'll see if that pays off or not. We'll see. What do y'all think? What do y'all think is about to happen here? He cannot pull this out. He has to Pidgeot. And draw in a switch, so at least we get rid of this Pidgeot search for one turn. Maybe that slows him down a little bit, we'll see. He throws out an Ultra Ball, that tells me he has one more Ultra Ball in hand, which is crazy. You actually never want to throw out Ultra Balls. Right now if I TMD Evo him, he loses the game. I think if we TMD Evo next turn, we lo he loses the game. Or we wait for him to evil one more guy and then we TMD evil. Okay, 
Okay, thank God you got rid of our hand for us. Trash hand with three dark energy. We need we needed a way to put it back in the deck. We couldn't. That was our only way. Thank God. For a second I thought this was reality show instead of Pokemon. Shut the hell up, Vic. Just because you're a virgin that sits in the basement of your mother's house all day long doesn't mean normal people cannot have relationships with other human beings. All right, he's going to have to Evo and put two more energies here. Oh, we did it! We shut him down. Okay, that was a really good play then. What the kind of draw is that? At least, actually, that's not a bad draw. Because we, then we can throw these two energies back. All right. I think we can literally do nothing except try to flower selecting our way to colors. And then from there we go into... We actually don't want to call this, I think. We just go kill this. Oh my god, I think we got him. Look at the disruption that we're doing to him, boys. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait one turn. This is what rescue board is for. It's f so I don't have to sit here wasting my energies and my let's either a or a rescue board. Oh my god, Sableye or TM Devo? Are you kidding me? My two win conditions late game. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah, I guess no more stabilize, right? Yeah, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna just. Ugh, damn it. No more stabilize? That, I think that was a bad idea. But he can shut down my stabilize with, with a Jirachi, that's why. Alright, so we're gonna do one retreat. Into a switch. I'm looking for something, guys. That's why we're doing all of this. Plus, if we're not going to get a chorus, and we're just going to go for the... Actually, let me think about this. No, we need this Roaring Moon. We're about to activate it in a second. We're actually going to... No. Am I going to put it down? There's no way he can kill this Roaring Moon, right? He literally needs three, four energies on this. And Roaring Moon can come KO this next turn. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to put it this turn, just so he... If he... I, I you know me. I'm gonna pick up this guy, and then I'm going to T um, Now my question is, do I want to energy retrieval? No, I think after Cramran dies, then we throw throw, throw the super rod in. I think after Cram dies, we play the super rod. Then we pick up all the energy back. That's huge. He loses energy and his Charmander, so he has no turn, no place to turn to. So this turn he has nothing to do. This is huge. I think he kind of misplayed there. I think he should have invested on another Charmander that turn with this uh, Pidgeot. I don't know what he was doing there. Not sure actually what he looked for. I don't know actually why he didn't go for a second Pidgeot uh, or a second Charmander. Maybe he wanted me to get rid of the Char 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 Charizard DX. I don't know. That just makes no sense. Now my Roaring Moon can KO his Pidgeot EX, gain the same value. Oh, he goes for the Roaring Moon. Into Iono. Second Iono of the game. At least now we draw into Chorus. Still no Chorus. I'm actually surprised. Wow, no Colrus. No real way to shuffle our deck either. I guess we can pal pad in the bosses and shuffle the deck. I think that's our best way and try to draw into the Colrus. Or if we top deck chorus right now, this is game over. This is game over. We literally win game if we top deck chorus. We just need to top deck chorus. If we top deck chorus, we win game. At least we're super ahead. Let's see. Instant charge? Okay. I think Colrus is top of the deck. I mean, we, we literally got Iono twice and he wasn't there. I don't think I'm going to shuffle the deck. I think I'm going to pull the Colrus first, then I'm going to shuffle the deck. Let's pull him out.
Actually, probably better right now. Because of that big hand on the opponent's side. Actually, much better. Alright, let's shuffle the deck first. Or do we just Iona to Chorus? No, all our Mirage Gates are at the bottom of the deck. Let's get rid of the Heavy Ball. And... Uh, throw down a Pokestop. And then go for... Iona, we are still looking for... A freaking uh, chorus. There it is! Alright, we got the chorus, we got the Mirage Gate there, we got the energy! Deadzo! Deadzo Pidgeotzo! You're Deadzo. First thing we're gonna do is pull out the energies though. Let me make sure we got everything we need. We got two energies in there. I know we got two energies in there. There it is. There it is. He's Donzo. He has no way to come out of this. And we get Chorus next turn. I mean, he's going to have to Iono us out of there. But it's just not going to feel good to Iono. Because we also have the Rescue Board, so we can even feel Iono us. That's actually big. We lose our double energies here. So we actually don't get to activate a second one. That was a bad Pokestop, I'm not gonna lie. At least we get two here. Let's see if we get the Prime Catcher. Okay, second Chorus. This is gonna be bad if he Iona's the Chorus in. What he needs to do is he needs to uh, Evo this Charmander. And then start attacking with it. Okay, he gets rid of this rescue board. Good idea. But adds to my... I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. The, the adding to my zone, lost zone, is not going to make a big difference. What's the plan, Stan? Here's the vitality. So he does get the KO. Without the need for vitality. I think he's... I think he's gonna try to Iono. There he is. He gets at least some energies back. He might Evo here this turn. Oh, he loses his Pidgeot EX, so he actually might not have a way to Evo. That's actually big. I forgot about that. Okay, so he got his uh, Charmander and energies back. He's gonna KO me, but this is good because then I can just KO him. At least I get time to get back some Super Rods, uh, to Super Rod in my stuff. Yeah, to be honest, that might be a good idea, Vic, because this deck is actually countered by Fluttermane. I didn't, I was surprised by that, how strong the counter is. I think we're going to start with this, looking for a uh, Super Rod. There she is, we found it. We're going to throw the Super Rod in. Pick up our Rory, oh man, that was an early Super Rod, right boys? Yeah, that was super early. That was way early. Should have waited a little bit. That's a uh, Colrus. Should have waited. Actually really strong, and we can put down this guy, oh, no, no, I just want to deal with Roaring Moon, right? Once I KO this, one Roaring Moon wins game. And then he cannot Iono me. Actually, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Ra Radiant Charizard. And we're just going to draw our boss if we need it. So this is what I'm going to do here, guys. I should have wasted my nest balls first. Fuck me, I fucked up there. Okay, let's follow our... Let's empty the deck as much as possible. There's the boss. There's the boss, there's the boss. Oh. The energy we need, actually. We actually need the energy, sorry. We're actually going to give this energy down. And... Uh, The award for 
best actor goes to the Charmander for losing this game. Let's see. Artisan, that's really not good. If he pops something good to the Pokestop, I'm going to be really mad. I know he doesn't have Iono, so we should just be... We should check out what happened. Right. What happened to our stream, guys? Step into Wix Studio, the platform for agencies and enterprises, and turn website layout live right now and get... What happened to our stream? Who ended the stream? Something just ended my stream. What the hell happened? Whatever, man. Okay, there it is. He got the Charizard DX. Prime Catcher, Contra Catcher. Let's see. There's the Charizard DX. This is why I knew he was going to pull out my Charizard. So now I can pull out his Charizard, right? What? I guess this guy still attacks, yeah. Three draws to get me a boss. We also didn't get our prime catcher. Oh, this is interesting. We might be able to activate this dude. See how much energy is. Very interesting. It's so artisan. Get rid of that. Call risk for the rest of the deck. That's exactly what we need. And then we're going to throw back one, two, three. We'll add it here and then we'll switch. So we can shoot this dude down. All right, next turn we got the boss, got everything. He could Iono me out of the game. Maybe, potentially, we'll see. Damn, we didn't get the Prime Catcher. Fine. <laughs> Our final prize is the Prime Catcher. That's really big. That's really big. That's a really big problem. Okay, he's going to KO this. We need to find... A way to switch this comfort. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have seven, so seven. Yeah, we have no more switches. Wow, TMD was huge here. Let's 
Let's see how many rare candies. One, two, three rare candies used. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident we're going to draw into what we need. If I didn't get non-stop rock sand and everything, I would be in a better position. Let's see what happens here. He's just going to Iono again. Make sure I get out of the game. Oh, maybe he doesn't have Iono. Maybe he realized there is no Iono. Wow, he puts back the Ionos now. <laughs> This sucks because I actually, my only play here now is the TMD vote. The only thing I could have done other than that was play down. Does he go for the upright catcher? No, lost vacuum. For what? He's reducing his hand for some reason. If I can, uh, there it is. I would have won game last turn. I just have no way to retreat this guy. Let's try it. Let's try it. I just have no way to get rid of this dude. If he has a rare candy in hand, I'm screwed. I know he has... Oh, no, there they are. All four of them. He has nothing. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him, boys. All that disruption for nothing. We got a ready guy to KO. You know one thing he could do is he could get me stuck on that comfe. I don't have a prime catcher. It's in the prizes. Yeah, if he gets me stuck on the comfe, I'm stuck actually. Wow, he's got me if he puts me on the comfe. I need to draw into an energy to retreat the comfe. Let's see what he does. It has to be for seal stone or this guy. I don't know what that was for. It's just wasting hand. He's retreating. Something harder to kill. I just need to draw one card. It's an energy. That's it. There it is. I got him. We got him, boys. Thank you guys for watching that game. That was awesome. That was awesome. We actually got him, boys. Great game there. Lots of fun. We can counter Iona with the rescue board, but with those lost vacuums, he got me. Yeah, but you see he's trying to set up lost vacuums, just he didn't gain value from them. Honestly, I think I'm going to run 8 switches. Uh, so I'm just going to run one rescue board. Yeah, 8 switches still value.